All right, are you ready? Let's make a personal timeline using the Timeline app. Don't forget, you can use your Timeline planning sheet to help you along the way. First, go to your iPad and find the Timeline app. Can you find it? That's right, it's right here. Once you get to your Timeline app, you'll already have a profile created, so you need to find your name. If you remember, my name is Sample, so I'm going to click on Sample. Then we need to have a project title. Project title goes here. Our project title is going to be your name plus the word timeline. So my name is Sample, so it says Sample's timeline. If your name was Joshua, it would say Joshua's timeline. If your name is Maria, it would say Maria's timeline. Then you're going to click Start. This is your timeline. Click to start your timeline. We're going to start our timeline with the past. Click. Here we go. We're going to fill out the little box just like we filled out our timeline planning sheet. So if you want to get out your timeline planning sheet to help you out, now would be a good time. Look at the past section. In the label part, you're going to put past. In the short description part, you're going to put the year you were born. The year I was born was 1981. In the full description part, you're going to write the sentence that you put in your timeline planning sheet. My sentence says, as a baby, my family said I like to eat food off the floor. That was something that happened to me in the past when I was a baby. Then you're going to click to choose an image. Hopefully you've already taken a selfie of yourself in a tableau describing this sentence. Go to Moments, and then go find your image. You might have to move it around so it looks perfect. Then click OK. Check to make sure everything looks good, and then click on the check mark and finish. Look! There's your first entry on your timeline. Now you're ready for the present. Click anywhere you want on your timeline. Then go look at your timeline planning sheet again and look at the present section. We're going to use this part to help us fill it out. In the label part, we're going to write present. In the year, we're going to write the year it is. Right now, it's 2019, so I'm going to write 2019. And then I'm going to finish the sentence that I, or copy the sentence that I wrote in my timeline planning sheet. And it should be about something that's happening to you now, in the present. Today, I'm special because I'm very tall. Then you're going to click on Choose Image, go to Moments, and go find the tableau that you acted out of yourself completing that sentence. So my sentence was about being very tall. Here's my picture of me being very tall. Click around to make sure it looks good, then click OK. Check to make sure everything is all right. Click the check mark, and then click Finish. Look, there I am on my timeline. Now I'm ready for the future. Click anywhere on the timeline to make the future. Look at your timeline planning sheet to help you fill out the little form. The first thing we're going to put under label is future. Then we're going to put a year. I put 2044. That was the year I'm going to be a grown-up. Then you need to fill out your description about what you're going to be when you're a grown-up. My sentence was, when I grow up, I will be a painter. Then I'm going to click on Choose Image, go to Moments, and find the Tableau selfie you took of yourself acting that out. Here I am, being a painter. Click OK. Click the check mark, click Finish, and there you are in your timeline. Now you might have to double check. The order should be Past, Present, and then Future. If yours is in a different order, you're going to have to click the circles to make sure it's in the correct order. You can always ask a neighbor to help you. Then when you're all done, click Finish. Now we're totally finished, so we're not going to save as a draft. If we weren't finished, we could click the top option to save as draft, just like we practiced before. But we're totally finished. So we're going to click on Save Final. Oops, excuse me, I take that back. If you want to save as a draft, you can. But we're going to save as Final, so we're going to click on Save Final right here. See the big yellow where it says Save Final? We're going to click right there. We're going to click Save, 
and it's going to save to your camera roll. Click OK. And then if you go to your camera roll, you should see two images. One image is your timeline where it says past, present, future. The other image gives you the sentences you wrote. So my past sentence says, as a baby, my family said I like to eat off the floor. My present sentence said, today I'm special because I'm very tall. And my future sentence says, when I grow up, I will be a painter. This is how you can use timeline to make a personal timeline all about you.